Have you ever wondered what it really means to live a godly life? Many of us as followers of Christ want to live a godly life, but maybe we're uncertain as to how to actually do that. Well, there are three things that I have learned to help me grow in this area. Uh, first, I've learned that we need to reject a common misconception. Living a godly life does not equate with perfection, okay? Perfection is a quality reserved for God alone. Instead, it's about a daily choice to walk towards God, allowing Him to mold us into His likeness, regardless of how long that journey may take. You know, and so when I was a kid, we used to mark our height up against a wall because I wanted to be as tall as my dad. And as long as I was growing, because he was the standard, I was in the right place. So here's the good news. You're not a failure if you feel like you're not as tall as your dad or as good as your heavenly father, because there's only one God. I just want to be more like him every day. Second, living a godly life is not about conforming to the expectations of others. This is big. External standards of morality can often become really restrictive. They can actually hinder spiritual growth. True godliness involves seeking God's standard and relying on His help to live up to His standard rather than being bound by societal or religious pressures. Remember that when you lose your way, and you will from time to time, the key is to realign yourself with His plan, His guidance, Help him steer you back on course. Godliness is about direction, not destination. So godliness is asking the question, am I growing toward God's best for my life? And if you don't know how to do this, dive into his word, the Bible. That's how you get to know him. Third and finally, living a godly life is not about performing the right actions. It's actually a state of being. Consider the analogy of a moth and a butterfly. Okay, a, a caterpillar crawls, but a butterfly soars effortlessly through the air. They don't think about what they're doing. They simply do it as a result of their condition, who they are. Similarly, our transformation into godliness should be a natural response to being surrendered to God's will for our life. It's about seeking inner transformation rather than focusing solely on outward performance. And honestly, setbacks and failures are often integral parts of this transformative process. So the question is, do your actions reflect who you believe God wants you to be? If not, let him to continue to do his work in your life and trust the process. And so remember, living a godly life is actually a journey, an ongoing process of growth and self-discovery. And it's okay to stumble along the way. What matters is our unwavering commitment to strive for spiritual maturity, seeking guidance and embodying the principles of our faith to the best of your ability with God's help. And that is a stepping stone to being who God created you specifically to be.